Hello again. Time for part two. If you missed on part one, I'll leave, I'll leave a link in the description for that. And we're going to carry on with the R5 build. Okay, marvellous. Let's get on with it. Like I said uh, at the beginning of the video, if you need to see the first part of the build, um, I'll leave a link in the uh, thing. I'll try and leave you a link up here somewhere. Or, or there. Or whichever. <laughs> well, then we'll take you there. So, let's get on. There we go. Next stage. These sections are going to be um, for the slope angle on the dome itself. Uh, as I'm not doing R2, I'm doing R5. Um, so you hopefully it'll all come together soon, and uh, you'll you'll come along the journey with me. Right then, just add in the um, angled sections, the bottom of the neck. I'm customising the whole thing as I go along. Um, there's some more to put on, and I'll put the lower section on, and that'll be the dome. Basic um, skeleton of it done. A little bit of life, um, a bit of life to get in to Sid, um, or, or five to one day. So a little bit of life in there. The wind near finished, just checking out the work. So, this is the next part. Um, put some paint on just to see what it's going to look like. Um, it's starting to look nice. Um, I've secured the centre foot uh, with some um, a piece of wood here and screwed through into the uh, wooden uh, section here. Um, this isn't actually finished <laughs> at the moment. Um, just I wanted to get an overview, so I've painted it. Still needs sanding, so I'm going to have to primer paint it again. Um, the shoulder sections have been put in. Again, they, they need to come off yet. And they need smoothing round. Um, I have devised a bolting system uh, for <coughs> for the shoulder section, so they're now really, really solid. And as you saw, um, standing on its own, it's really, really solid and positionable. Uh, the head itself, um, I think I'm going to um, thin down this collar to about half the width um, because I think they will look better. And uh, it's coming together quite nicely. Right, okay. So, accumulating what looks like uh, a load of junk. So, I suppose it is. Uh, but these are the side sections which go at the side of the ankles uh, of the actual feet themselves. Um, I've got lots of uh, like batteries here and wiring and servos. Um, more servos, um, LED lights, small motors. I've been collecting bits basically. Um, a receiver uh, for the sort of put them the head to be remote control. Extra pieces um, already printed and ready to go in. Obviously, the pie pieces which will be fitted into the head and the two main grills which go to the centre section the front of the body and these two pieces here are go to the side of the heads actually I don't know what they're for um, but they, they're on the head so there you are and these two sections here um, fit uh, in the shoulder section at the top of the legs Hey up, I thought I'd do a bit of a, a, bit of a channel update obviously uh, furlough uh, for me anyway has come to an end so the videos may not be coming out weekly uh, as they were uh, so bear with me on that the projects are still ongoing but i'm gonna have to keep that today's off um the 3d printed's come to a stop uh, that's purely because uh, the unavailability of uh, pla at the moment in the world um what we were paying um 899 999 for uh, for those that do have any 
is uh, now currently between 15 and 25 pounds a roll so it's just getting a bit silly we have to wait for that to come down a little bit <clears throat> i've got a little bit of footage pre-recorded from our do build uh, which isn't finished um it is in the background so i'll show you a little bit of footage straight after this of what we've got left um to show you and obviously the droid build will eventually grind to a halt 3d printing wise uh, because i want to 3d print some of the uh, details that go into the r5 droid some of which you've just seen so what i'll do is um i'll, be, I'll keep you up to date as and when things happen uh, i've got a little bit of footage of other things i've been making which i wasn't going to share on the channel uh, but you know, i've been doing in the background for my own personal uh, use so to speak so Thanks for bearing with me. Uh, videos will be coming out. And if you've uh, signed up and subscribed, press the little bell and so on, you will get notifications when I uh, start reposting. So I'll try really hard to keep it up for you. But until then, enjoy this. Well, there we are then. Uh, just so you know, I haven't forgotten. Poor little old Dio. So finally got around a bit of undercoat and some final touch on the green. Um, there's the evidence. There's the paint. So... We are going to start putting them together now, um, so uh, I keep saying so, don't I? I should go and do some sewing. Anyway, um, <laughs> as it progresses, I'll put it together and uh, I'll bring it straight to you. There we go, it moves on a little bit more. And bearing in mind, I'm not going for screen accurate here. Uh, it's just my take on it. Um, the print time's ridiculous uh, for such a small droid. Um, more paint required, nowhere near done yet. And uh, we might move on to a, another little project, which is uh, Star Wars related. Yeah, I might give you a little tip later. There we go. This is uh, for the parts of a, a lightsaber I've been working on. Just for me. Uh, I wasn't going to use it for a video, actually. Uh, that's just some spares I need to <laughs> fit into it yet. Um, obviously, for a 9 volt battery and a switch and some pretties. Um, that's actually a replacement, I reprinted because I thought I'd lost this one. So, from the end, um, that's over here. This was just a, a large crystal doorknob, so I thought I'd use that as an external crystal because it's my own design and that adds a lot of nice weight to this 3D printed part. So, I, I like that. Let's together, you'll see. This was made from just a piece of PVC pipe, really. Um, so I wrapped it in faux leather, obviously added this uh, this hook uh, hanging onto your belt, uh, painted the silver section, 3D printed the outer ring. Um, this section goes um, on the end, obviously. And I designed all this myself, obviously in the CAD, uh, before I printed it. And as this one here, with the holes, that's going to slot inside the pipe. The holes are for uh, five LEDs and one actual laser, like from a laser pointer, which I've actually put in here. And what I've done is I've glued some washers together, fed the wires through there to go to the uh, switch and battery, obviously, because the, the washers add a nice bit of weight to the front end and the crystal, adding weight to the, the, uh, the other end, obviously. There you go. That's what it looks like assembled. Um, I've not fitted the wiring yet because obviously I'll need to do some more work here for the on off switch. Uh, stand design, as you can see. And it will protrude from there. So the lights and LEDs in the front uh, will obviously light up as a separate colour. Uh, I think I'm going to go blue. I don't know yet. So uh, I'll show you that once I finish the wiring. Well, there you go that's the last bit for now so as i say thanks for watching thanks for subscribing stay safe out there i hope you're enjoying what you can see of my uh, war of the world's diorama uh, stay safe everybody i can't say that enough and i'll see you next time thank you